Hello everyone. I am playing with the UV Tech Education UKIT Intermediate. I've made another one of their models. They call this one the strobe because of the light that we put on it. Again, we use their app, UKIT EDU. And their app has a whole bunch of models with step-by-step -step instructions. So this is the strobe. I don't, know, I, mean, I don't know if I'd call it a strobe so much as i call it more of a beacon or a party light. How about a party light? Um, so it gives us some steps to build it. And pretty much just what you're building is um, a mount that's got two servos on it so it can turn, uh, turn around like that. And then the head of it can rotate up and down, uh, forward and back a little bit. Um, so you're rotating clockwise, counterclockwise, um, and then up and down to make the light move and play around. So let's go with the, yes, we're ready to code because they've got some examples in here. And I'll click on, oh, click on here. Uh, i got to make sure we're connected to this. To the motor control board um, it says we've got two servos and a light so that's good so their first example just has us um, turning lights on so here's what we got uh, if you can see the colors and so it's on for three seconds and off um, because it goes to the end of the pro goes to the restart yeah, so there's that code, and let's see what their example two is. Example two, uh, we're going to flash a light, and then change the lights are flashing, and do them all three times. I really wonder why they go off in between. Um, because... If there's no off, shouldn't they stay on until we change it? I don't know. That's just me. You got to play with the code, see what it does. So I'm kind of surprised that the build has um, servos, but they don't have an example with the servos. So let's make an example with the servos. Um, you got to be careful with the servos, how much you move them. Because one, we've got cords. And if you try and rotate something 360, and there's a cord on, you know, going away from it, you're going to get caught up in things. So you got to be careful with that. Um, secondly, the way this is built, if you rotate this back too far, it's going to fall over. So be careful of that. So the moves, we're looking for moves, we're looking for servos. I'm not going to use the clockwise one, that one, because um, it goes around in a circle. I don't want to do that. Or the 361, because it goes around a circle. And I don't want to do that because of my cords and the uh, the uh, where the p position of that one is. So I'm just going to use the rotate servo one. Interesting thing about the servo blocks is you can give commands for both servos in the same block. So we can get this to set to zero to start with. As you see, we fell backwards because we're at zero and so we've got little it's a little bit over the center center of mass um so let's see let's rotate that one let's go rotate this guy forward actually let's now let's let's keep that at zero let's go now let's go a little bit okay um, so what I want to do is at the beginning we're going to set everything to zero. And then I'm going to give it a little pause. Um, notice I'm trying to go 200 milliseconds and I want to 500 as the default. Um, and then we're going to move. Now again, we could move just one servo at a time. Um, and let's move you... Then we'll take a quick little, then we'll do the next one to rotate. Uh, 
um, we got to change that to ID 2 and get rid of 1. And this puppy, we're going to rotate oop, around like that. But then I'm going to bring it back. Rotate around. Moves. But then I want to rotate it back. So I'm going to go the other way with it. Whoa. Oh, see, I messed up because that wasn't... I left it on one when I wanted to do two. All right, two. Get one off there. Okay. Got to be careful with that. Um, that one. Okay. All right. All right, let's see what this sucker does. It should reset everything to zero. So I want to change this one. I want to bring that back a lot farther. Oh, so I stuck, kept going positive. I want to go back to the other side. That was my problem. Okay. There we go now. So I'm going to hit play. It reset, <laughs> it reset to zero. Let's try this again, if I can quickly grab it. All right, so now we're moving service, but let's add, let's, you know, we got, we wanted lights, right? All right, so let's get lights. Uh, they got scenes. Uh, so let's go after the reset. And they got some scenes. Let's go with disco. Okay. Now let's do this. We've got disco going. Uh, it's gonna do disco three times, and then okay, we got so we gotta figure out. Oh, so it wanted to complete the disco. We just wanted to do the disco and then do the other stuff. All right, try again. See, it's doing disco. Um, and that's when you start throwing in repeats. Repeat all of this. Oops, sorry. I grabbed a repeat. I want to repeat. Oh, not repeat until. Sorry about that. Uh, I could have done a repeat until if I had a switch or something. Well, let's just repeat it three times. All right. Here we go. So, the duration might be a little quick for that, but that's okay. So, play with, you know, the different LED scenes, you know, change with the servo, um, fiddle around with it. That's the whole point. Thanks for watching. See you later.